Hello, Gina Greenlee here with GinaGreenlee.com and this is Inspiration Daily, October, I think it's, I think it's the 19th, I think it's the 19th, yeah. So, I'm inspired by singers who take classic songs and uh, rearrange them, come up with a completely new arrangement that takes this classic song and completely, they completely make it their own. And you're like, and you know, I, I don't wa I don't watch that show, the, these um, singing competitions, you know, The Voice and The X Factor. Um, I don't have a television, so I watch video clips and things like that if I'm so inclined, or I, I rent movies from the library, or I'll, you know, I'll purchase a movie rental off online for streaming. So, but I have watched clips, and I remember, I think it was American Idol years ago, the singer Adam Lambert. One of the things uh, I don't, I don't really buy music anymore because I'm just at an age where you know you can't take it with you. So. Uh, but I do appreciate it, um, and I remember seeing clips from Adam Adam Lambert's performances, and he'd sing these songs, and he just he would just do incredible things with the arrangement, and I find that deeply inspiring. It's been said that there's nothing new under the sun when it comes to creativity. That that creativity uh, new ideas are really not new at all but they are what we call these days mashups they are um, combinations of existing ideas putting together existing ideas familiar ideas in new ways and uh, you know I see that in books I see that you know you see that in fashion and and I think that's true um, so, but I'm particularly inspired by that because I hear something like Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire, or I think it's June Carter, June Carter, Johnny Cash, and he just puts this, you know, it's a country song, and he puts this completely different psychedelic pop spin on it. One of, and I'll put some of the, some of my favorite um, covers, unique covers in in the transcript box below the video one that comes to mind from uh from when i was a teenager is uh, do you want to dance by it was sung the arrangement was sung by bet midler who's now i think in her 70s but you know she was a young woman then and it was a cover it was a remake of uh, a song by neil S I think it was Neil Sedaka, and it was this, the original song was from the 50s, and it was this really upbeat thing, do you want to dance at home, no, it wasn't Neil Sedaka, it wasn't Neil Sedaka, I, I don't know, I'll have to, I'll put the, whoever it was, and then, after I researched in the transcript box, but it went, do you want to dance, hold my hand, da, 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 so it was like a very, you know, kind of, you know, bubblegum poppy type of thing. And then Bette Miller comes along 20 years later in the 70s, you know, and it was just like this mellow jam. Do you wanna dance? Hold my hand. Tell me you're my love man. Oh, baby. Do you wanna dance, baby? Do ya? Do ya, do ya, do you want to dance? So I'm going to put in those two versions. I love the second version of that song. The first one does nothing for me. Uh, but to take this, you know, kind of bubblegummy, poppy, sort of, what do they call that, sunshine pop, um, you know, like Beach Boys and Fifth Dimension, all that kind of stuff, and turn it into this just soulful, R&B pop song, I mean R&B song is, uh, torch song is what I want to say. I find deeply inspiring, you know, I, I'm wondering what's going on in the brain, what's the wiring there? And the same thing happens with movie remakes, there's, there's um, the movie You've Got Mail with 
Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan from like a gazillion years ago. Actually, it was the fourth version of that story. And I will... And it's really interesting because the, 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 the first... The first version of that story is from a Hungarian play that is not a musical. <laughs> that this is a Hungarian play, and then a musical was made out of it, and then another movie was made out of it, and so and so the the, the correspondence between the lovers, of course, in this Hungarian play, which I think was from the mid nineteenth century, is letter writing. By the time I think the 1980s come around and you've, you're starring Meg, the actors Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks, um, it's email. So I'm fascinated by people taking something existing and making their own, and that that's that's my uh, that's my inspiration for today. And I, all the details will be in the transcript box. Thanks for joining me.